Albert Bradley must be a magician. Wherever he casts his reel, bass seem to multiply and race toward his boat. He's a master in the sport of fishing, and many say his expertise stems from his understanding of how bass think, act, and react. Buddy, as his friends call him, started fishing when he was five years old, and by the time he was 10, he and his dad finished construction on a 1,000-gallon tank so he could conduct bass experiments. This budding young scientist studied how bass detect color, and he developed techniques for night versus day fishing. But I found out also that you can work on the condition response of the fish and make the fish and trigger the fish to strike when in reality he's not hungry at all. So it's, it's more or less that through experience you develop a technique for finding the fish and then you develop a technique for finding what triggers them to strike. But Buddy had more to do than fish. He graduated with a degree in biology, married and started a family. He took a desk job during the week, but was never far from a lake. He taught his family how to fish and spent nights and weekends working on his never-ending science experiment. He never chose to fish as a profession because he says it's just not his philosophy. Don't be worried about how many you catch or how big they are. Enjoy the sport. Enjoy the camaraderie that you have out there. Buddy's friends say he may be underestimating his competitive spirit. He'd go to lakes before they filled up, these man-made lakes, and st study the terrain, the topography. He knew, he knew where he was going to fish before there was any water in the lake. Uh, Buddy studied it more than anyone else, but Buddy also is as competitive. He'll tell you that he's not, but he's as competitive as anybody that's ever played the game. During the 60s and 70s, Buddy could be found at the local fishing store, spreading fishing words of wisdom. And Buddy was the absolute expert of bass fishing at the time. And I'm not talking about the city of Dallas. I think he probably knew as much about it as anybody in the United States. He just tuned into a different world. I mean, if you sit and listen to him, you sit and listen to him in awe. But half the thing he talks about, I can't understand what he's talking about. But anyone who has turned professional has probably learned some tricks from Buddy. For 20 years, everybody fished the way Buddy Bradley told them to do. And I mean, that's in the state of Texas. And if they didn't fish that way, they didn't win any tournaments. Most say the man simply knows how to catch fish anywhere, anytime. On one particular day, he reeled in 161 fish. And back in the 50s, he and his partner caught the largest string of black bass ever caught by two men in the state of Texas. Bradley's scientific findings are recorded in a number of books and periodicals. Well after his retirement, he continues to fish. He still travels to various bass clubs around the country, teaching fans how to lure in the big ones. He's a 100% teacher, and he's a 100% angler, because if he goes out there and they're not biting, his calculator all of a sudden runs up another uh, screen, and he's out there catching them somewhere else. But he's a very devout Christian, and he and I are kind of like the odd couple. Uh, that the worst word I ever heard him say was, I gollies. He hopes others will learn that fishing is more than a sport. It's a way of life. I think because of how much I love it, I feel like that other people could derive it as just a, half as much as I get out of it, it'd be a thrill to know that other people said, I've got him, and see that bass jump out of the water and, and come into the boat and water flying everywhere. What in the world can a person ask for more in sports than that? Buddy Bradley's friends say that his love of sport and science have made him a legend, and his love of sharing his knowledge will inspire future anglers long after he's done fishing. He's probably the best sports fisherman that the state of Texas has ever had. And he was a power fisherman. He fished fast, he fished hard, and he fished long, and he caught a lot of fish.